Hello and welcome to Sarcastic Videos. Today we're going to be talking about Kidnap, the new movie released with uh, starring Halle Berry. Uh, this movie was actually shot uh, in 2014 and is just being released now because the company that shot it went into bankruptcy. And this movie was kind of in hiatus, which is what happens when a company that owns a movie goes into bankruptcy and they have to figure out what to do with all the uh, assets, which this movie was. Um, you can kind of tell that nobody was in a big rush to get this out into theaters because it's not really that good a movie. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not good either. Uh, one of the, like, Halle Berry does a good job. She per puts on a good performance. All the actors do. But it's mostly a Halle Berry movie. Like, you really spend 90% of your time following her own by herself in her car. So, it's based on her performance, which was good. But the problem is, there's the direction wasn't very good and the editing is really bad. There's a lot of jump cuts, which are just distracting, take you away from the action. And there's some editing where things just... Are look weird like a speedometer shot that's redone multiple times or um, you know things like a dog disappearing things like that where you know they, they just didn't put a lot of time and effort into this and it could be because they knew they were going bankrupt or you know maybe they just ran out of money and couldn't pay a good editor but uh, Halle Berry does put in a good performance and a lot can be said for the car that she drives. It's um, it's interesting. It's a little minivan, and it takes a lot of damage. It almost at one point, I thought it was going to turn into a minivan commercial, but they barely show the make and model of the van. So it was really interesting to see a minivan take that kind of damage in a car chase. At one point, she actually gets out of the car and kind of pats it, kind of almost like a good girl kind of pat you would do on a with a dog or something it was kind of interesting to see that um but the first part of the movie is this chase scene it's a really long chase scene when her son gets kidnapped and it's poorly edited poorly directly directed um it and it all could have been avoided if she would have just remembered her cell phone which was kind of annoying that's the kind of what you're thinking through the entire chase but that's what happens, and then uh, the second half of the movie is more of when she finds them and uh, these guys that kidnapped her son, and she has to, and she deals with them like at their house. Uh, that part is better. It's still directed a little poorly, but it's there's no chase, so there's no jump cuts trying to make things look faster than they are. There's some action. There's you know some suspense but uh, the beginning stuff like it's really done poorly it is a distraction the, there's some things that the characters do that don't make any sense there's some actions that take place where you're like well where you know even after the cops show up you're still wondering where the other cops are like you know just even one police officer shows up but not everybody else or you know, even when there's an Amber Alert, Amber Alert going out, you know, it's just there. You you don't see enough of reality in this action suspense, you know, kind of movie. And it is it's a cheaply done action suspense kind of movie. But and and uh, the other thing is mostly during the ta the chase, Halle Berry talks to herself a lot, which is pretty annoying like they could have at least given her something to talk to other than herself because that just it seems so fake the way that it's done so it's it's pretty distracting uh overall this movie's not very good um it's not worth going to in theaters for sure i would say i would rate this a four out of ten because you know there are some decent scenes even though they're poorly directed and poorly edited, you see enough in there to know that there's decent performances, 
a decent idea for a movie. It just wasn't very well done. And, you know, Halle Berry, like I said, she does a good job. So that is Kidnap, starring Halle Berry. Uh, don't waste your time going to see it. Maybe wait till it's on Netflix. And like I said, it's a 4 out of 10. So if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, or all of the above. Thank you, and have a nice day.